Yo, what's good everyone? It's your boy. Today's video, we got top 50 decks in Yu-Gi-Oh! We're going at it right now. But before we do, for a limited time only, we got some big news, baby. The best deck of them all, the Remy Cords. The beautiful, the Remy Cord playmat will now be available for the next two days only. So get yours right now in the comments down below. It was sold out in the two hours when we released it a long time ago. So go go ahead and get it right now. Shout out to Frankie for the absolutely beautiful playmat. Wow, 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 wow. Get it right now down in the description. Let's go. Anyways, let's get straight into this video. Top 50 decks of the meta. Before we begin, I should say some honorable mentions. Honorable mentions being Dark Magician, for all the noobs coming on my video right now, Dark Magician is not good, it's actual trash, but nonetheless, Souls is insane, so we're gonna put it as an honorable mention. Generic Stun is another honorable mention. B Troopers, they're probably a top 100 deck, but nonetheless, they'll probably be good soon. Synchrons and Mystic Mind. All right, those are all honorable mentions. The Mystic Mind is a dishonorable mention. Now we're gonna go with the 50th best deck. I'm gonna, these are all, in my eyes, tier three slash tier four. They're all so good, they can all still like do decent at an event, but I'm gonna go straight into it. So, number 50 is, I'm gonna go fast. Up until our top 25, I'm just gonna go fast. So, 50th is Trap Amazement Red Eyes. 49th is Paleo. 48th is DDD, which by the way, should way, be way higher. But it's fine. This whole video is going to be done with zero bias. That's why 47th is Odd Eyes Magician. I think Odd Eyes, Pure Odd Eyes, whatever you want to put, I'm going to put that as 47th. 46th is True Draco. 45th is Trap Tricks. 44th is Zombie Eldritch. 43rd is Plunder. 42nd is Orcus. 41st is Cold Talker. 40th is Live Twin. Right now. But the second the Live Twin support comes out, it's like top 15, top 10. You're gonna notice there's no Sword Soul and no Fun Reason here. This is a current list. Post bold, I'm gonna do a new list. Where Laptop's probably jumping all the way to the top. Number 39 is Magical Muskets. Number 38 is ABC. Number 37 is Mathnek. Number 36 is Cyber Dragon. And before the Cyber Dragon nerds in the chat say, Oh, my trips, I'm a Dragon Best Deck, shut the hell up. Cyber Dragon's some trash. It should probably be 76, not 36. But I'm a nice guy, so I'm gonna put it at 36. 35 is Unchained. Sorry, Coder. Deck is ass. Number 34 is Infernoid. Number 33 is Fluffle. Number 32 is Mech Knight. Number 31 is, sorry Jesse, Chaos Thunder. Number 30 is Mermails. Number 29 is Heroes. Number 28 is Despia Shadal. Number 27 is Goki, which this deck's actually insane. Number 26, sorry Milano, I really wanted to put this up to 25, Dragon Maid. Now, after I just showed you that that's 26 to 50, now I'm gonna discuss a little further on the top 25, because in my opinion, there's a huge drop off after 25. Dragon Maid could be considered in this next tier. I'm calling this new tier, tier 2.5. So now I'm gonna discuss these ones a little closer as we go up to the very best deck. So tier 2.5, we're starting off. Number 25 is Earth Machine. I think Earth Machine has so much good plus and value and OTK power that you could not put this in here. It just pluses too much. We're putting that at number 25. Number 24, Madolce. If Madolce get going, incredibly tough to defeat and very difficult to destroy their board. Very difficult for new players to play and I'm putting this at number 24, to play against. Number 23, Dragoon Guru. Now you can go ahead and put Dragoon Space anything and just put Dragoon Turbo because Dragoon's that insane. But at the end of the day, you are bound to brick a little bit with it. So you will be destroying a lot of noobs with Dragoon Guru. But nonetheless, I'm putting it at number 23. Number 22, I'm putting Grand Maju Trap. Stun Grand Maju. This past format, there was like five, six players in the ladder in the top 20 playing Stun Grand Maju. This deck's actually legit, and I'm putting it at number 22. Number 21, Metal Falls, baby! We very easily could have put this up, but I wanted, I did my absolute best to do zero bias here. Metal Falls is putting up six in the gates every turn, but going second is a little rough without Electromoid. So I'm gonna put that at number 21. Number 20, I'm putting Dinos. I understand Misk is to one. But they're still putting up a gigantic board that most people cannot deal with on turn one. And they still got Misk. I know it's at one, but it's really at seven. Because you have Ovi Raptor and Fossil Dig. So it's still a, a very solid deck. I know it's Sam, if you're watching this video right now. Dinos are fucking ass. Okay? I'm just being nice. Because you're my friend, bro. So just for Sam, I'm going to put Dinos number 20. Number 19, I'm putting Emancipator. As long as Farf was not playing it. Because Emancipator is actually a very powerful deck in the right hands. It's going to put up a lot of negates. 
It's very good going second, actually. And with the right hand, it can clear a lot of boards. And play through at hand traps. Number 18, I'm putting Sky Striker. As long as you draw Ray, you can win any duel against any deck I'm about to mention. Even Pendulums. If you have access to Ray and you open Godly, Engage, all this, you could win very easily, especially if you side deck correctly. I'm a big believer in Sky Striker, but the decks I'm about to mention are just way better. Number 17, BA Trap. Sorry, Farfa, this deck sucks too. But you know what? It doesn't suck that bad. This deck's actually pretty decent. As you guys saw Pac play on his stream with, Pure, with BA Trap, he's done some serious damage with it. And I think it's a good deck. But nonetheless, it's not as good as Eldritch. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest. Anyways, let's go next deck is Salamangre. Salamangre can very easily win. This is the 16th best deck. 15th best deck is Infernoble, which is actually still an insane deck. 14th best deck, I'm putting Altergeist. 12th best deck, I'm putting Prank Kids. Prank Kids, I understand Meow Meow's on one, but their end board is still the exact same. It's still very difficult to deal with. It really is. Number 11, or I believe this is number 12 now. Number 12 is going to be Phantom Knights. Now, at this point, you could very easily say Phantom Knights is in tier 2, as I'm about to mention the next one, but... It, I, I don't want to put anything in the top 10 under at tier 2. I'm co considering this all tier 2.5. So this one is going to be Phantom Knights. And then the very last card at tier 2.5, the very last deck. This is 11th place. Pure Zephra. This deck is actually insane. I just made a video on it. And I'm a few, firm, firm, firm believer in this deck. It's literally just the best control deck in Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't care what anyone says. The deck's insane. And there's a lot of pendulums in it. So I like. And this is no bias. Otherwise, I'll put Zephyr 1, 2, 1. I'll put Magicians 1. I'm, this is all just facts, okay? So now we're going to enter Tier 2. Now, every deck I'm going to mention from now on will win a, can win a YCS easily. They're all legit. They're all actually legit. So, at the number 10th pick, I'm picking at Ignister. Now, it's very easy to say that Inferno is better than this deck. It's very easy to say even Zephyr is better. It's very easy to say all these decks. It's very easy to say a lot of these decks I'm mentioning to be better than that Ignister. But I think people don't understand the true power about Ignister. That if you play so many decks just can't deal with their Link 6. And the fact that they can play 15 hand traps, the deck's insane. Now, at number 9. In my opinion, this deck is actually way higher than number 9. In my true opinion. But nonetheless, and a lot of people would also consider this deck like top 40. A lot of people would say this deck's around 30-40. I'm telling you right now, this deck I'm about to mention is the literally the number 1 sleeper pick. In this entire ban list that everyone just don't doesn't realize how powerful it is i'm gonna make a video on this deck to prove my my point the ninth best deck in the format right now is pure zodiac tanky to one does nothing barrage to one does nothing you didn't even play tanky before tanky's fucking dog shit in pure zoo the whole reason why pure zoo is so broken is going second against like three negates two negates you put up a six material zoo five material zeus four material zeus blow up the board, and nothing can be negated. If you go tanky, obviously your opponent's going to Ash Blossom that. What else are you Ash Blossoming in Zodiac, huh? If your opponent has Cosmic Cyclone, they're using it on your tanky. If they have Anti-Spell, they're using it on the tanky. If they have Imperial Order, they're using it on the tanky. If they have Boros Hammer Dragon, they're using it on the tanky. If they have Endymion the Mighty Master, if they're playing the absolute best deck on the planet, they're using it on tanky. So what I'm trying to get at here is tanky to one does nothing. Barrage, ban, that's fine. All right, that kind of sucks, but it just doesn't matter. You play a Go Second Zodiac list, 12 Zodiac Monsters, 3 Desires, that's 15 offensive cards in total, and then 25 Absolute Blow Go Second cards, and then you side deck into 15 traps for when they make you go first. I'm undefeated with that list, this format, and I'm going to be grinding rated with it because it's insane, as well as Magicians and another deck that I'm going to mention very soon. Anyways, on to the next one. This is Virtual World number 8. Virtual World is, people could say this is top 3, top 4, top 5. I say number 8's fine. It does still brick a lot, but nonetheless... This is a very powerful, it could very easily win a YCS. Number seven, I'm picking Dragon Link. I think Dragon Link could also very easily win, especially with the new support. And number six, Invoke Dogma Shadal. Invoke Dogma Shadal, Dragon Link, and Virtual World are all interchangeable at six, seven, eight. And now I'm going to go on to tier 1.5 with the fifth best deck. No bias when I say this. And this is pure Endymion. I don't care what anyone says. If I was biased, I'd put Endymion at number one if I was biased. I'm not biased. I'm just being honest. I truly, from the bottom of my heart, am telling you that Endymion is the fifth best deck. Why? Because Droll will stop seeing much play moving forward because decks that auto lose to Droll, Cross of Designator is now a card. So they could be scared the Cross of Designator is coming to stop the Droll. Hence, I see Hand Traps not seeing as much play as they did in the past. So, once the second Droll slowly exits the meta slightly, then Endymion is going to be absolutely fucking ridiculous. But until then, we're putting it at number five. Droll's an issue, but if Droll wasn't an issue, it's 
probably the best deck. Number four, I'm putting Tri Brigade. Tri Brigade literally went virtually unscathed on the ban list. Thank you to one does nothing. The deck's still insane because it can play 15 hand traps and is a very, very good like mid combo deck. And now we're gonna go to number three. This is it was very difficult for me, but I'm putting number three to be Pendulum Magicians. Zero bias. If I had bias, I'd put this at number one. Like I said, I would put Magician number one and Demon number two. But I'm just being very honest with you guys because I love you guys. Pendulum Magician is an insane deck. This format, it's the most consistent out of anything. Literally, every, like you could open one Harmonizing Magician. One Harmonizing Magician being Pendulum Summon gets you Needle Fiber and Artifact Dagda. And then those two are going to turn into Baroness once Scythe pop, Needle Fiber pops the Scythe. The deck's insane. For one Harmonizing to do that and play through Interruptions with your Pen 5, it's ridiculous. Joker to 2 and Iris to 3 did so much. Pendulum Magician is number 3. And if you think I'm incorrect, you're a moron. Now, we're going to go to Tier 1. This is like... The two decks that I believe are on the own hill at the very top. Number two is Trap Eldritch. I really wanted to put this deck in number one. I can't stress enough how powerful this deck is. Because going first, going second, doesn't matter. You just set five traps. Any five combination of five traps in Yu-Gi-Oh! will destroy every one of these decks, even Pendulums, as much as I hate to admit it. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Go second traps in 2021 are broken as fuck and literally need to be power crap because that's how insane they are, especially because no one prepares for them. Red Reboot's at one, and people aren't even playing it, because all the decks I just mentioned, they can't even OTK, most of them at least. So you're facing cards like Twin Twister. So when you have five set and you Twin Twister, who gives a fuck? You have three real traps. Torrential, pass the entire turn of a Drytron player, I mean, pass the entire turn of a Tri Brigade player, of a Dragon Link player, of a Virtual player, and you just continue to kill them on your turn. And every one Eldritch card counts for five by turn three. It's a plus five, literally, to activate one Wakero. That's how insane the deck is. I really wanted to put it number one, but number one is Drytron. I don't think anyone could argue with this. Ava to one literally, virtually does nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. The best way to play the deck is with Ava at one anyways. You just make sure to search for the Ava with Ben 10. Then when Harold sends it, it literally equals the exact same amount of negates as playing double Ava. But this way you play around hand traps better. And less bricks in your deck. So... If anything, Ava to 1 helped the deck because now people can play the deck correctly. So, with that being said, that's my top list. I'm going to go ahead quickly and say the last 10 that I just mentioned. First is Drytron, second Trap Ellet, third Pendulum Magician, fourth Trap Brigade, fifth Endymion, sixth Invoke Dogma Shadow, seventh Dragon Link, eighth Virtual World, ninth Ignister, tenth. Sorry, ninth Pure Zodiac, tenth at Ignister. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this type of video, let me know. I'll do another top 50 video. Maybe top 50 pendulum cards in history. If you guys want to see that, let me know down in the comments. Also, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Make sure to smash the like button. And make sure to get the beautiful Dragon Ball Playmat in the description. Wild last. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!